Hello friends, uh, this is my 14th presentation on the topic of avoiding conflicts of roles by using the concept of segregation of duties. Uh, it is in the context of ethics in the real estate and hospitality industry. Uh, what I have included in this presentation are following. Uh, giving eight examples of the conflicting roles in the design related activities. Uh, 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 five examples of conflicting roles in the commercial activities related to the design activities. How to develop roles in the ERP environments. How to develop authorization profiles that contain access rights. There are five activities. Uh, templates for developing robust authorization profiles. Attaching profiles to the roles. Implication in case the inappropriate profiles are attached to the roles. Uh, now few examples of the conflicting roles so that one can understand uh, what uh, is being uh, discussed in this today's presentation. Assume that there are seven stages for design development. Now what are the examples of conflicting roles? Uh, for example, uh, uh, architect one architect uh, say employee code E8001 uh, uh, initiates or creates the design development activities at the concept design stage uh, in the architect function and the same architect is approving the concept design without even review by any peer level designer or by the high level, higher level architect. Uh, let's say second, uh, second example architect 2, architect number 2 initiates or creates uh, design development activities at the schematic level uh, once the concept design has been approved and the same same architect same architect who has done the design development he uh, reviews by without any review by the uh, uh, peer level designer or uh, higher level architect approves the same schematic design uh, here uh, these numbers like ea001 ea02 345 just are just for understanding um, uh, not much significant here. Uh, next is example is that let's say in the th stage 3 the architect has initiated or created the sanctioned drawings uh, for submission to the regulatory bodies and the same same designer uh, architect number 3 is uh, also approving the design so, de so design developed uh, without any review by the uh, peer level designers or by the architect high level architect or by the uh, project team or the uh, legal team uh, next uh, the fourth stage is that let's say that designer same designer uh, designer number three we discuss ab above uh, he uh, he creates uh, designs and drawings based on the structure requirements and uh, he himself same designer e number three is approving the detailed design and drawing without any peer level uh, review uh, or by the higher level architect. Uh, let's say the, uh, at the design development stage activity number uh, 5 the same uh, the, the, the let's say that designer number 4 has initiated or created the tenders and tender drawings and specifications and the same level himself same same designer level number 4 is approving the tender and the tender design and specification without any review by the uh, peer levels or by the uh, by the higher authorities. Uh, 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 stage number six, uh, uh, the designer number four, uh, same as uh, uh, earlier, he prepares and estimates the cost of the entire building based on the various bills of quantities, and he uh, he himself approves the project cost without any peer review or getting inputs from the finance or getting inputs from the uh, any other project team. Uh, stage number seven, uh, the designer number uh, five, architect number five, indicates or creates, uh, initiates or creates the as-built drawings, and he himself approves the as-built drawings and drawing without even any peer level review or review with the high-level architect or with the project team. These are the few examples which are purely design related. Now I'm going to share some examples which are commercial in nature uh, to be performed by the designers, often by the designers. Now uh, let's say that designer number four uh, 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 negotiates the fees and payment terms with the outsourced consultant for procuring consulting services, uh, consulting services related to the design. Uh, 
and the same same uh, candidate number four he approves the fee rate of the external consultant without involving the contract team or the finance team or the project team uh, another example is uh, number nine example is that uh, uh, this uh, dry and uh, say uh, design uh, architect number three he certifies and approves the work uh, initiation or completion of the outsourced consultant uh, which serves the design and the drawings and he himself authorizes the payments release or the advance uh, or any other payment to the outsourced consultant against work initiation and completion without involvement of the project team or the project finance etc uh, another example is that the uh, say let's say architect number 4 creates an agreement with an outsourced consultant for services and the same architect he approves or releases the such agreement directly without even waiting in the scope of the design terms design works terms condition by by project finance or project legal team or project head uh, another example is uh, 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 the the this uh, uh, say architect number 4 he makes changes in the scope of the outside work or the boqs or the specifications or the deliverables and he himself is approving uh, or releasing the amendment amended uh, agreement to the outsourced consultant uh, another example is uh, the commercial aspect is that the designer uh, number 4 let's say he makes changes in the outsourced consultant's fees or reimbursement rates or payment terms in the agreement and he himself approves such amendments in the agreement and passes the running pass running account bills of the outsourced consultant for payment Uh, based on the above example given uh, uh, i'm sure the interior designers and mbb functions can based on the number of the stages of the design development they can also develop similar kind of uh, uh, conflicting uh, uh, role situations in their respective function now particularly in the uh, small organization where the uh, uh, or the organizations which are lean uh, the same designer is apparent, uh, apparently doing the functions of architect also and interior designing also and mbb also now this can certainly cause wear adverse implication now how to develop uh, uh, robust roles in the erp environment uh, uh, first of all let's for a simple understanding uh, what is the meaning of role a role simply means uh, determining who can do what in the organization depending on the individual's function team level position and competency while ensuring segregation of duties now in the erp environments developing robust roles involves developing authorization profiles uh, this is a new term which i am introducing called authorization profiles uh, uh, we service the various kind of activities uh, using the segregation of duties as of the concept now the, the different kind of activities i have put them to five categories a b c d e a means performing the core activities which are the hard core design core activities performing the statutory activities which are related to the approvals like rera approval or statutory approvals fire approvals etc etc performing supporting activities uh, 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 accessing of the uh, design tables related to the configuration tables and the field choices and uh, accessing of the master data tables uh or their fields to perform these activities now in my book i have identified there are 818 activities which are with this five uh, a b c d broad kind of activities which i have stated and there are 800 870 fields which i have identified in my handbook uh, and these uh, number of activities pertaining to purely design functions not the other like accounts or projects or Uh, marketing or materials etc and uh, these are uh, these have been uh, identified at the granularity level and these can obviously grow if the organization size is big and the number of design packages are much higher how to develop the authorization profiles that can uh, that contain the access uh, rights now there are five activities which need to be performed for generating the authorization profiles uh, what are authorization profiles authorization profiles are the ones which carry the uh, uh, rights and these need to be attached to the different kind of roles now the first activity in this is that identifying the parameters for developing the uh, sod template for assigning access rights to activities configuration tables and master data tables second is designing the sod templates for assigning the access rights to the core and strategy activities config tables and master tables then software programming of this sod template for assigning the access rights to these 
but then populating the SOT templates with access rights. Now what I am saying is um, this is a bit uh, uh, difficult subject but needs to be understood very thoroughly and uh, there are a couple of examples which I have given uh, for each of these uh, 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 core activities, statue activities, construction tables and master tables in an access 26C, 27C, 28C, 29C uh, and uh, I have also enclosed a template uh, uh, of these annexures uh, which I will share in this uh, in this today's presentation um, after the next three slides. Uh, next is how to uh, continuing this is how to develop the fifth activity is that uh, what about changes there are organization changes which keep on happening with service the uh, design functions uh, the core activities the core design activities the Changes in the design activities, the strategy activities, or hierarchy levels, they keep on changing. Uh, like uh, people keep on moving from one level to another level. Then, hierarchy, uh, hierarchical positions uh, like uh, staff, junior, assistant managers, uh, draftsman, etc., or manager, senior manager, senior manager, whatever designation you want to give, or general managers, chief architect chief MAPD designer, directors, etc. These keep on changing. So these need to be factored in while assigning the, uh, while developing the authorization profiles. Uh, now there are, uh, what is proposed in my uh, presentation is that uh, for each profile, uh, we, uh, we, we, we have five different activities for which different kind of uh, roles need to be uh, uh, the assignment files need to be developed which need to be attached to the uh, roles. These are now uh, uh, a, a person who can only create or initiate a specific individual design core activities or strategic activities or access a table or develop a table etc. Uh, next uh, uh, granular activity is that who can edit and modify the uh, work which has been initiated by someone else. Who can delete this? Who can view this? Uh, and who can prove it? Uh, now, uh, persons uh, who, to whom these authorization profiles are attached for editing and approving, they are very, very critical. Very, very critical. While the organization can be liberal in granting new rights based on the need, but uh, the rights to edit or approve need to be assigned very, very carefully. Now, considering the large number of activities, like I talked about 818 activities, to be performed and large number of fields to be accessed. The number of authorization provides can run into several thousands and uh, in my book uh, uh, in this uh, chapter 11 uh, I have given uh, four lectures 30A, 30B, 30C, 30D which have is you know these um, core activities, touch activities, configuration tables and master data tables where 11 examples of 11,750 uh, profile numbers uh, which are potential profile numbers are uh, uh, indicated. Uh, <clears throat> now the template for developing authorization profiles is given in the next PPT which I was talking about two minutes ago wherein the uh, various aspects which need to be populated to service each activity uh, of the design activity are uh, 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 what uh, we service each right like create or edit or delete or view or approve who which function can do this. Is it uh, to be done by the architect or the interior design or the MEP? Uh, or a team, uh, which is the team applicable within each function, uh, say function means architect functions or uh, as you know or architecture or interior design or MVP, there are several teams within each function, uh, within uh, each design function, uh, some are for conceptual work, some are for uh, design, detailed design work, some are for tenders, some are for testing prototypes, some are for approval etc. Then what uh, the employee level? Uh, this can be low level or middle level or high level we discussed a few minutes ago and the employee position what is the designation and the level of the uh, uh, employee uh, at the different uh, levels lower middle or high level now each each authorization provider will have a unique code number assigned to it to represent the right attached to it that means right to create or edit or delete or view therefore the total number of uh, authorization profiles profiles will grow into thousands and thousands we service each type of activity. Now this is the template which I was talking about uh, which I have given in the form of an access. Uh, now on the if you if you see this is a simple table uh, where there are different columns 
for creating or initiating which is column number 2 uh, editing deleting viewing and approving and uh, on the on the top horizontal line profile numbers need to be mentioned this there is a coding scheme which is there in my book which can refer to uh, on the left side in the vertical column uh, one has to write what which is the function attached uh, function assigned vis a vis each of this uh, column number 2 3 4 5 etc uh, what are the uh, number one uh, the number third row in this is which function is to perform this activity uh, which function uh, which is the team number team assigned within each uh, function who can uh, uh, who can do this perform this activity uh, employee level uh, junior level middle level high level and the position who can perform this uh, so uh, uh, there are several several examples which are there in my an extra 26c 27c 28 28 etc which i just mentioned please go through that you will understand it much better what i am saying uh, now how to attach the profiles to these roles now once they configured these profiles uh, hod has to concern hod in the architect or the uh, interior or the mb function has to attach these several specific numbers of authorization profiles that contain individual rights to various roles within with the help of IT team this is a pretty complex process because there are thousands and thousands of uh, 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 profile which get developed now uh, such attachment of profile is driven by the considerations uh, such as function team employee uh, employee level hierarchical position and uh, uh, amongst all most important is the uh, skill level and competence of the person to whom such uh, uh, competence to which such profiles are to be attached and uh, more details about this role attachment can be found in the one of the my blogs in my website the number of which is uh, given uh, here uh, the PPT how to assign roles to architects interior and MB functions systematically with an illustration now uh, now since this is a very complex process attaching manually is very cumbersome and time consuming so there are some ERP solution as I know of like SAP uh, ERP where you know profile generating softwares are available uh, which wherein authorization profiles can be developed and attached to the employees uh, in fact attached to the different uh, kind of roles uh, the this role uh, these roles developed are not employee named wise and, and but are competence based uh, now what are the implications in case the uh, in, inappropriate profile gets attached to the roles now this can lead to several things uh, because in case segregation duties is not followed or uh, any appropriate of role authorization is done it can lead to design deficiencies it can lead adverse impact on the project cost uh, adverse impact on the construction quality not meeting customer requirements in uh, at all not meeting the com project completion timelines and stretchy non-conformance further you know uh, 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 inappropriate uh, and skewed authorization profiles attached can lead to developing some power centers in the organizations uh, causing uh, uh, employees demotivation delays and uh, inefficiency in the system sorry for this spelling uh, this is power center c e n t e r s not canters the most serious implication which can uh, be uh, that uh, such uh, such inappropriate uh, threshold profiles uh, attachment can lead to uh, can trigger uh, collisions among the designers or the consultants and designers with the consultants or the contractors or the project functions and resultant unethical activities uh, there are there can be several uh, more conflicting like situations which uh, can be directly assessed by the uh, listeners uh, respective uh, designers uh, and uh, uh, these are pretty serious and i've given just only few examples now uh, more details of this you can refer to uh, in my book uh, on this uh, and uh, 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 you can also refer to the uh, another blog which is called avoiding conflicting roles amongst architects interiors and MVP designers in my website uh, facebook and linkedin are also available and uh, more details you can 
uh, buy this book on Amazon uh, India or Amazon.com uh, in various countries. Thank you very much.